Before we get into today's video, guys, we're almost 2,000 subscribers, so can you guys just go ahead and, if you guys already clicked on the video to watch it, like it, comment on it, and subscribe, and help me get to 2,000 subscribers, because we're at 1.23 thousand. I believe we can hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Can we make it happen? Alright guys, welcome back to another video today on the Ghost Flash channel. I do look a little bit tired because I'm getting a late start to the day. I'm waking up a little late, but I'm going to get this video knocked out for y'all today. So in today's video, I know in previous videos I unboxed the... Max Speeding Rods Turbo. I unboxed the Max Speeding Rods Turbo and I think I explained in that video that I was planning on making it an externally waste gated setup instead of an internally waste gated setup. And I know I had a couple other friends, a couple other people ask me, how do you do that? So in today's video, I'm gonna basically go over and explain how to convert my internally gated turbo that I got from them to an externally gated turbo so I can run my tile waste gate open wastegate or extra wastegate whatever you like to call it and be able to run that like a hood dump setup or dump it somewhere below the car or whatever i shall decide but basically this video is going to go over how to convert the turbo and explain how the turbo basically works internally gated versus externally gated and how to go about that process Sorry, i had to squeeze between my car but i'm gonna show you guys right now i didn't explain really in depth last video but i'm going to explain a little bit better in this video this is the internal wastegate okay so this is what controls the boost. So let's just say you have a tune. Your tune is for 15 PSI, 16 PSI, whatnot. The boost pressure going through the turbo housing comes out of here, releases the pressure release out of this nozzle into this tube. When this wastegate detects 15 PSI of boost, it then compresses the spring, which will pull this rod basically into this wastegate. And then as you can see, this little mechanism right here, that's on like a little bit of a swivel. It's kind of hard to pull, you know, cause it's meant for boost, not for my hands. Anyways, that will then again open and pull the rod into the wastegate once the spring detects 15 PSI of boost. And let me get a flashlight. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the inside of the turbo. Over here off to the right, which you guys can barely probably see, that little black circle, the small one, is a little flap. So that little flap will open, letting the external boost out, which will keep your car from over boosting and keep it at the 15 PSI. A lot of the times, people don't really like internal waste gated setups because sometimes they are known for opening prior to building boost so let's say you're in first gear right you're at the track you do a launch you're doing two-step whatever your car immediately builds the 15 psi boost it automatically will open then you are not having max boost when you're launching you're launching probably like seven eight nine psi boost rather than the 15. a couple ways you can go about that you guys can either switch to an external waste gated setup or you can use a manual boost controller or a electronic boost controller basically tee it off in between here so have this line feeding to one end of the boost controller and then a line from the boost controller to the wastegate then you can use a manual boost controller so you can manually turn the boost up whatnot or you can use an electronic boost controller and do it that route, but that will basically up the boost pressure for the wastegate. So instead of making it max out 15 PSI, or having a tune for that, then you can use your boost controller to be able to change that, to be able to run more boost. So allowing this to open at a later boost pressure and or changing out the spring inside of the wastegate. So you can take off, actually, no, I'm not really too sure about these stock internal wastegated setups. I don't know, aftermarket ones, you could change out the springs. You would have like a 20 wastegate spring, 30 PSI wastegate spring, whatever, have it open up at that kind of PSI or on external wastegated setups, you can do that. But I'm not really too sure on the stock ones that come on the cars. I know on my Genesis Coupe over here, yes, I'm taking it apart. That's a whole separate video, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, I actually basically adjusted this right here. So you can adjust the rod, you can pull it. It's like a little cheapy little mod that I learned on YouTube. Basically, you shorten up the rod and allows basically to stand up the spring and allows it to open up later on to be able to carry more boost because the Genesis Coupe is very known for not holding boost in the higher RPM range. So I went ahead and changed that. But when I go ahead and swap to the external waste gated setup, I'm going to be running a manual boost controller so I could be able to have more boost with the car. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace this. So in this case, I went ahead and looked up T3, T4, turbos i found so you guys see these all these bolts right here i believe there's five so i found on ebay yes i went on ebay shut up and i found this 
So this is the exact same pattern that's on the back of the turbo and it goes to a three inch V band. So I can run an external wastegate setup and you see the difference is this one will be deleting the wastegate and the little flap that's on the inside off here to the right. So I will be basically unbolting all these screws, unbolting the actual wastegate, pulling it off. Now I'll be putting basically this piece on like so and it'll be deleting the internal wastegate. Drop my phone, dude. So as you guys can see, this is what I was talking about. So pretend this was still on the back of the turbo, okay? This is what was controlling your boost. So let's just say 15 PSI again, going through your turbo. The spring detects 15 PSI through this nozzle. Once the PSI boost goes through the hose into this nozzle, it pulls on basically the rod and it pulls it like this. So you see that little flap? Now it pulls it. So once it pulls it, it'll basically inside the turbo, which was right here, this little hole is right here. This was blocking that hole. So when it hits 50 PSI, cools on the rod, opens up and exposing that hole, which will let the boost pressure out and back into the exhaust system. So an external wastegate setup, when the external wastegate will open up, you'll have a dump tube. It'll dump the external boost pressure out and through the dump tube. That's how you get people with a hood exits, have flames come out the hood or their car goes like from like not so loud to extremely like roaring loud versus it being internally gated it letting out back into your exhaust system which you don't really hear because you just hear your exhaust this prevents you from having basically the cool noises that everybody likes to hear when they hear turbocharged cars like Supras. that's what all that does but i'm gonna go ahead and keep this because this will probably come in handy on different turbo setup whatever other car tend to boost in the future i'm going to keep this keep all the stuff with it and then next i'm going to basically install that piece so now basically all i have to do is line this up with where it's supposed to go it looks like it'll go like this nope i was wrong i'm, I'm, I'm tripping all right guys chill out chill out I'm working on it all right yep that made more sense because the exhaust holes where the exhaust holes supposed to be go ahead and get the old hardware line everything up thread everything in like so Go ahead and tighten everything down. Make sure to tighten all the bolts evenly. All right, now it's all done. So I got my V-band basically on the back. We're just gonna make welding up a downpipe a whole lot easier. Don't gotta deal with having this internal wastegate anymore because obviously I'm gonna be running an external wastegate setup and we should all be good. Now I'm going to go need and order some oil feed and drain lines because the max feeding rods kit came with the gaskets and everything, but it did not come with basically the fittings I needed to be able to run a oil drain and a oil feed. Actually, no, scratch that. It came with an oil feed line, but it just came with a, a banjo bolt slash fitting that goes right here directly in the middle, and which should theoretically work, but a lot of people, including me, like running an entire fitting for a smooth surface to lessen the chances of oil leakage. That is basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on how to convert a basically internally wastegated turbo to an externally wastegated turbo. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next go slash video. Peace. That I'm not, so I'm located in the back, though Don't even want to